Okay, you've downloaded the uh, zip file and you've uh, installed uh, the VMware player. Uh, the um, you Go to the folder where your zip file is, right click on it, and click Extract All. And um, uh, go ahead and mark Shows Extracted Files When Complete if it isn't already marked, and click uh, Extract. And this will go through here and um, create a new folder and dump all these files in there. And uh, let's take a few seconds here. I'll give you some music uh, in the meantime. If I could whistle good, that might be entertaining. Um, now the neat part about this uh, is, is leave the zip file out here. Uh, don't uh, don't delete it, and I'll explain why here in a minute. Okay, it changes the folder. I'm gonna uh, click back here to um, I put mine in uh, my documents appliances. That's where I downloaded it to. And you see, I have a .zip here. You probably don't have that. If you press your Alt key, you'll see the menu appear here, and uh, there's different options you can choose. If you go to Tools, Folder Options, and then click the View tab, uh, down here in the Advanced Settings, you're going to um, see some some different different options, uh, hidden files, so forth. Uh, you see where it says Hide Extensions for Known File Types, and I know this is kind of small, so you may not be able to see this on YouTube. But there's one that says Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Yours is probably checked. You want to uncheck that. It really does benefit you mo better if you're in the computer science area if you can see what what you're working with. So you want that unchecked and click OK. And now you should see the .zip on there. Well, we're going to double click this folder to go into it, and I'll double click this again. Now I see a whole lot of different um, different files here. The one we're specifically looking for is the VMX. Um, so this one right here. That's why it's nice to be able to see these extensions because all these say Ubuntu. Um, so if you don't have these showing, it's kind of hard to see. You can look over here and type and see it, but it's a lot easier there. Now these, um, if you installed the VMware player, then you should just be able to double click on this. So let me double click on it. And it'll um, come up the player. This takes a little bit, so. And it says, uh, do you want to connect the virtual um, virtual device parallel zero, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can say yes or no there. I'm going to say no. And I'll say no on the zero, zero. Now it says soft, software, software updates. I'll learn to speak someday. You can just click the X to close that out. And removable devices here, just click uh, OK. And, um... It'll take a while, like I say. You can maximize the player here if you want. It'll do a disk check. I did this last night. It um, took a little bit, but it's going seems to be going faster today. Maybe because I just turned my computer on and haven't haven't really consumed any resources. P.O. box to send a check to, so I'll never, uh, in order to get me to stop uh, whistling at the end of this video. I would just press C, and, and that probably would work, but um, I let it finish last night. I figured that way, each time I go into it, it won't keep asking that. And um, it says this drive is not ready or whatever. Um, it, and it goes away. You get a chance to read it all. And it'll come up here. And um comes up with automatic login. Just click login. Now I clicked it, and it uh, that gave my focus to my VMware player. 
it uh you noticed up here to it said to um you know put focus back to your windows it said to do a certain key press uh you could do that if you wanted to um but uh it also works just click down here like if i click down here and click appliances see it goes to that Okay, so now we got this up and running. And uh, you probably won't have this hands-on or XE. Uh, that's a that's a DVD I think I have in my drive. And um, you can click applications here and look at these places, uh, system. Uh, you're going to find Ubuntu is very Windows-like, um, so you won't have much trouble picking up um, tr picking up how to use it and so forth. Okay, now let's say I've done whatever I want to do. To exit out of this, I click the uh, close up here in the upper right-hand corner. It'll come up and ask me, um, how do you want to close your virtual machine? Suspending will preserve your environment and data for later use. If powering off, make sure that the virtual machine is in a safe state for shutdown. Uh, I wouldn't recommend powering off here. If you're going to actually do that, then you probably want to just shut down your system like normal. Just click on Suspend. And uh, you see it's down here. It's shutting down. Okay, so now it's shut down. Let me go back to that folder. And let me double click the. Um, where is it at? Uh, move down here. That's interesting. Double click the VMX. And uh, re see, it's restoring the virtual. This is. Um, this. Ah. Set out of that. Click OK. This is where we were the last time, so it'll remember if I open a window. Like if I click um, Places here and go to Home folder. If I have this up, if I close this and just click Suspend, again it's shutting down here. Okay. Now if I go back into that, I think I clicked it. Let me try one more time. There you go. I might have two instances. And comes up here. Okay, close those. See, this window is still open. So it remembers exactly where you were. Um, so that's, that's kind of nice. Um, you don't have to keep logging in each time. Um, you can just keep pick up where you left off. Now, um... Let me uh, close this and uh, click Suspend. Let's say you screw something up. Um, that's a beauty of these appliances. You're 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 working. You you mess something up really bad. It won't even load anymore. Well, you come back here to this folder. You click the file or delete the file folder completely, and then you just unzip this again, and then you're up and running again. This is the the nice part about appliances is that you can um, learn. You can experiment. You cannot screw anything up. Because if you do, you just delete the folder and you unzip it again. You're back up and running. Uh, so it's a one wonderful thing VMware has uh, created in that regard. But anyway, that's how you um, uh, get your Ubuntu up and running for the, for the course.